physically, though, it was good to see what he was capable of, where he wants to improve on the men. Here in the game in Port St. Lucie against the Mets, split squad day in day two of official spring trip. Thomas to JC is the single in the center field. Mason Wynn with a single to start things off. Turned around this year. Here's Burleson, who had a nice year last. Top rated prospect. He's in center field today. Percent to the New York Mets. And we could talk a little bit more about that with Dana Brown when he comes into the booth. But that balls later in the count. There goes Wynn. They tried to check his swing. The throw is a little... Hey, yesterday, it was more of the youngsters on the in being coming off the bench this one is pop area of the field that gave third baseman trouble last night no problem coming over in the jack flaherty trade from baltimore to st louis pretty good live arm offseason signing a big five-year extension from left and that's going to allow the left fielder rivas opens up the bullpen doors there but out too i'm going to bring up alex bregman he's going to swing all the way back to the wall and it caught again the Astros instead of program actually was <laughs> now here's Tucker who's got the win in his favor yes all oh, that's going out to right today he's got a 2-0 count here yeah we don't have the Ooh, look out. three and oh the count Tucker's first plate appearance of this it, things that worked helps. out yeah <laughs> things worked out with the gloves but you're right I mean in the beginning of the season Brayu is hoping to build off a strong finish. To yeah, I would imagine one more year or another year. We had a good game. She's calling strikes in the game in Jupiter today. There's a ground ball to the right side. Thomas to chain base hits. Takes a strike. It's 0-2. Came over in that trade with the Rangers where the Rangers picked up Jordan Montgomery and Chris Jared Young. Hunter facing righty, lefty, righty, lefty, all the way through. Yes, Smoltz handing over his number. They're Michigan guys and said, call me whenever you get a chance. Let's just talk more. Let that not be int intimidated, whatever it may be. He said, you know who followed up with me was Michael Brantley telling me I need. College is only going to make Hunter Brown that much better. Following quickly, it's going to drop in front of Jacob Milton. And the Cardinals have their second hit. Well, there he is. As he faces Buddy Kennedy here, who fouls one out of play. Oh, you, you're. You're in this 20 games under 500. This one, Pena will go to Altuve. Altuve with the turn. His throw is high. For 12 years. Right? There's a strike to Pajes. You don't have to move very far, and Joey puts it away for the final out of the inning. You're ahead of Yiner Diaz, hopefully offensively. Yeah, when people talk about if he's going to have better numbers this year than he had last year, Jose Abreu certainly believes he's going to. One, two pitch grounded to short. This is Mason Wynn for the Cardinals making it. On that shoulder and probably won't move much. Oh, he didn't get a long time to study that swing. He is a 26 year old coming off a huge season in the minor leagues where he had a 30 30 year. Intriguing thing about Trey Cabbage is that speed factor is going to travel. That, that will go from A ball to take for granted, but they'll discount maybe playing in Salt Lake for a majority of your games in the long ball obviously against the Astros last year with the Angels and he's called out on strikes here facing a left-hander and his there's a pitch that's in ball was coming out of his hand well obviously the delivery is beautiful and fluid um, to the number of players that are still out left field yeah there's a little bit of surprise uh, and uh, you should want to be watching something we hadn't seen all last year, and that's Bennett for run. There it is, the Cardinals. Basically born and raised until he was traded away to Milwaukee, but bringing him back, talk us through that process a little bit, our pitcher. And at the end of the day, we were like, man, if we're going to spend this amount on this, there's that can get left-hand hitters out. And you know, the reason why I think you need lefties is because sometimes you have bullpen back into the bullpen is there are going to be times throughout the course of the season where you need to get out of a. I think that, um, you know, Montero, to get back to the Montero of uh, Jacob Melton's leading off. Sounds this one to the right side, but this is a kid you really are excited about, right? The offensive side, not a very smart thing to do for a young pitcher. There's a reach out with the Bears. Really believe in the heart of that for sure. You know, in talking to Aunt Dave Clark, who I love as the younger players who really still... We appreciate the time. Thank you so much for joining us. Go enjoy the rest of your Sunday. Have an interesting dynamic to have him there and put Bregman behind him. 
So a little bit more protection than maybe about it. And Jordan says, I'll do whatever's good for the team. Jordan answer. Tough play for Martinez. His sidearm gauge for the Cardinals. He singled his first time up. Crowns this one foul. And it's one and one. He, could... he tried to lure the run, you wouldn't think. Loperfito makes the catch. You were talking about trying to get in lift. Pajes goes after that sweeper. It's one and one. Two-two. And jams the catcher, and Alex Bregman will take his time to make the throw. What, what a great addition. You know, we're excited to, excited to have him for sure. Um, super talented guy. Uh, was a, a lot when I was a kid. The Niners, we're going to have to say goodbye. It's in shallow right and is caught. Ooh. Ooh. Well, he goes down on strikes here. Mashinsky does his job against the lefty. Getting... Breaking ball catches a piece of the outside. Played for the Mustangs there. Northeast today. Mason Wynn has three of the Cardinals. Bastidas takes over for Jose Altuve at second. And John Garcia. Those guys as they get another bat next inning as well. Inside to Burleson. It's Diaz also went 0 for 2. This guys combined for 0 for 8 who left the game. Burleson Tuesday against the Washington Nationals. And then... We'll have scattered broadcast throughout Monroe Oak Ridge High School product. Luke and Baker, the War Eagle, couldn't hold up as he goes to split squad situation yesterday to start the spring as Baker goes down and continue to make adjustments. And it's just a little bit calmer hand movement from him. At he reached on an infield hit. Now the lefty Thomas in there. Yeah, had to face the starter, Drew Rama, lefty who went two shutout innings. The ground the other way into the shift spot that is not. Did you get that by the we talked about it last year. Chaz McCormick was called out on a play down bag with your right foot. If you're in here, Jacob Melton, a little tapper back to the mound, and depending on his pitch count. So he's at 20 pitches now. First baseman Garcia, and that'll be an out on two pitches. First round pick for Dana Brown last year. Or to Coast League before he moved on to Class A. He's two and two. who moves back a few steps, and that's two outs. Did so against the Rangers as he gets ahead of Jared Young, 0-2. Back, all the work he'd been putting in was paying off in the biggest moments. It was not an easy year. If there is, he says this guy never stops working. else, too, when they're struggling. Do not give up. It's, and Joey Loperfito is now two for two. Loperfito making an impact. Astros in the game yet hits early. There's a hit for Stevens. He picks up his first hit of this. When we mentioned he knows his ballpark very well. He's used to warming up on the picks up a strikeout to start his out. Nick Raposo, the new one pitch fouled away, and Suero has come in here. Oh, two pitches down. First pitch off. Swing and a miss. Suero, back-to-back -back strikeouts. Wow. Credited an error to the catcher instead of one of his steals back in a mid-September game. Swing and a miss. So Suero has the hill bat second in this inning. And with more on Luke, he is multi-talented, isn't he, Julie? In big league camp, played a new song for his club in the clubhouse. You saw Alex Bregman sharing it on social media, JD even giving him some props, so just a cool moment for him. But about, um, the, the thing is the balance for him. He's going to balance. <laughs> He's off that fastball up, it's one and two. As he hits the batter, and it actually everybody. caught C.B. Bucknor. That hit left-handed hitter. I know, that's what I'm Tapper left side, Matthews first opportunity is a short step. There's a called strike, and Henley Astros playing in St. Lucie against the Mets. Not much offense in that game either. The Astros trail in its in that game. Her right side taking it himself is Henley. Puts his pulse, and he makes the catch for the final out of the inning. Astros is Christie primarily. He was a third round pick out of Michigan in 2019. Back games for the Astros here. University of Tennessee product swings and misses of that 3 1 pitch. It's three in the scoring position today. 3 2 pitch. Pretty close. And the Cardinals used a lot of pitchers yesterday when they had their split squad day. There you go. Challenged him. 
one pitch coming to Baez. That is down. Ball four. That'll load him up. 